Hello and welcome to week eight, the horizontal braid stitch. This stitch, even for someone like me who prefers written instructions, can be a little difficult to understand through words only, so hopefully you'll find this video very helpful. I'm using Caron Simply Soft and Country Blue as my yarn. Um, I do have this particular section of the afghan, if that's why you're here, if you're working that through our summer stitch sampler. Um, we have it done in two different colors, so alternating colors after this row, or um, several stockinette rows after this row, you will change color and then you'll change back. So um, you're welcome to work it in one color too. It does look very nice. The horizontal braid stitch runs from right to left and it almost looks like you have knit an additional row of little V's, but turned this way. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do I have a 24 stitch swatch. If you are swatching, you can follow along, but this will work with any number. So you can make a narrower one to practice or not. It's up to you. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cast on one extra stitch. And we're gonna take care of the stitch at the end. So don't worry about changing the width of your project, okay? So I'm gonna slip this in here and I'm gonna pull one through and put it on the needle. So I now have 25 stitches. Now to work this stitch, what you do is you knit the second stitch. It's always the second stitch that you start with through the back loop, right? So with this picked up stitch, it's gonna be a little wonky. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna knit this, but I'm not gonna pull this one off of the left-hand needle. I'm gonna leave it there. And then I'm gonna knit this stitch in the front. So I've knit these two stitches and now I'm gonna drop, okay? With these drop stitches, I'm gonna place one back on the needle. All right, and now I'm gonna repeat that process as I go. So, knit through the back loop of one, knit the second one, and then drop. Put one back on the needle. Oh, I'm splitting my yarn either way I go. Goodness. Okay. So, knit the back, knit, slip, put it back on. Feels like a lot of work for one stitch, <laughs> um, you know, to get one stitch on your needle. How many are you actually knitting and slipping? But the result is quite pretty. So as you can see, it's starting to create what looks like a horizontal across all of these. Okay, and you can give it, you know, a little pull to even it out, especially when you finish up. Back to the left. So it is quite fiddly, that's why I have such big sections of stockinette breaking it up in the blanket. But you could put in additional rows if you don't find it too fiddly. Or just leave one in and not change color, add additional rows if you, if you dislike this stitch greatly. It's all about whatever you want your afghan to be. And we're gonna keep going till there are two stitches left. We're almost there. Like I said, this one's a little fiddly, but it's definitely time consuming because you're doing two knits and then a slip and then another slip for one stitch. Oh, 
almost there. Oops. I think I yep, went through that one. Sorry about that. Send it through the back. I actually went through both stitches like last time. Slip, slip. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties just as I was talking about how long this was taking. Um, so I'm almost down to my last two. I'm going to slip here in the back. Just like I have before. Oops. Except don't split the yarn. All right. So I'm knitting my stitch through the back loop. And then I'm going to knit this one that's on the needle. Okay, slip both off. And now for my very last stitch, knit and pass the slip stitch over. And you have what looks like a very neat continuing line of knit stitches worked down your fabric. It makes a great detail for all sorts of projects. And it can be worked, like I said, over any number of stitches. Just remember to cast on that extra one at the beginning. And then at the end, you'll want to go ahead and decrease one to make sure your count is the same throughout, okay? And also just be careful if you're pulling on these stitches too much to even it out. You might have a little bit of pull because there is you know, some extra room to pull from these stitches. And then you'll have sort of an elongated row behind it. So you may wanna play a little bit with your um, with your tension there, although I did find that if you keep working, that'll kind of work itself out a little bit and, you know, further rows can absorb some of that stretch. If you would like the written instructions for this and you came here organically, you can find the link to the post below and also to our Summer Stitch Sampler. This is the eighth week, so we've also worked through Diamond Brocade Stitch, Trellis Stitch, Blackberry, Plaited Basket, Lattice, linen and little ladders. I think that is all of them. <laughs> Lots of L's right there in the middle. Um, so you can find links to each of those as well as to our Facebook group where you can see how other people knitted this and what questions they had. Sometimes we also get tips about shortcuts and other ways to make the same stitch, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, you can always contact me with questions and I look forward to seeing you all next week.